Have you noticed the super adorable Easter Bunny dishes from both Pottery Barn and Williams Sonoma? Then you notice the price tag and you're like, whoa, so expensive. Well, on today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to dupe those fancy dishes for a fraction of the cost, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Natalie with Designed to the Nines, where if it has to do with a home, you're going to find it here. Everything from DIY to interior design to crafting and sewing and a little bit of this, a little bit of that. If that sounds good to you, I post weekly tutorials, so you may want to consider subscribing to this channel and turning on the notifications so you don't miss out on a thing. And this episode is no exception. I am so excited about this because every holiday season i think everybody goes online and looks for ideas and kind of to see what sounds good and what looks good to them and i kept seeing a common theme of these bunny dishes they are so cute i found a couple of sets one from pottery barn and one from williams sonoma that i loved i loved both of them i thought they were adorable and then i looked at the price and i was like hold up how much and it was between 50 and $60 for a set of four plates. And I was like, no, nope, nope, nope. Especially when I need like a set of eight to, to set my table. I'm gonna show you how to do it for less than 10%, about $5 for um, a set of four plates. And you're gonna have made them yourself, so you're gonna be so proud of them. And they're gonna be cute, and we're gonna do this. So let's get started. Here's how we're gonna go about it. I'm gonna give you like a general idea and then we're gonna start. So I've got these clear plates that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then I have a set of four royalty-free hand-painted bunnies that I've printed out on my printer. We're just gonna start by cutting them out and then we're gonna decoupage them on and then we're gonna paint some cool designs now I don't know if you can see it in the background here but this is my um, pottery barn version and this is my William Sonoma version they're so cute here we go so what we're gonna want to do very first well let's move our cute little bunnies out of the way for just a second because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our plates and we're gonna peel off the sticker and then it came off pretty good, but there's a little tiny bit of debris. And just to avoid debris and fingerprints and all of that, we want it to be very clean. So I just have a cotton pad and some rubbing alcohol. And we are going to just clean the back of it. That dries very quickly. Now on the our inspiration piece, there's a kind of a brown banding around the edge, just very subtle detail. I've got a paint pen here from Craftsmart. I couldn't find the color name on it. We're gonna use this for the edge banding here. This is the first thing we need to do is do the edging because we can't have it mixed with anything else. So you, you shake it and you get it on there. And then we're just gonna go around and we're gonna hit up the edge you can kind of see that it has a lip. We're just very carefully moving the plate, not the marker. And it's okay if it's a little imperfect, but we're trying to try to get it as even as possible. We're gonna let this dry. It doesn't take very long at all. And um, while we're letting it dry, we're gonna cut out our bunnies. I love these bunnies. These are so cute. Stay tuned to the end and I'll tell you where you can where I got these ones. But honestly, you can go and find whatever bunny you want. I've got my little kid craft scissors. That's fine. You can use whatever you want. It doesn't have to be like uber perfect cutout job, but you just cut as close to the edge as you can. So we have our cute little bunnies all cut out. They are so cute. I am so in love. Now this is dry. Now we can decoupage our bunny on. Which one should we do? Hmm. Well, let's try this one. This is very important. You need to get dishwasher safe Mod Podge. 
If you don't, then they're not going to be washable. If you want to wash them, you've got to use the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So make sure that you get that. We are going to um, put some Mod Podge on the front of our rabbit. Enough that it'll stick, but not like globby at all. Before it dries, very carefully, because you don't want to rip the paper that's already wet. We're gonna bring our plate over and we are gonna try to center it or just place it where you want, where you think. So he touches the bottom and then his face will show. So we're gonna start at the bottom and we gotta be careful around where it bends um, so that it doesn't crease. You just kind of work with it and work out any um, kinks. And if a little bit hangs off the edge of the plate, that's okay because we'll just trim that up later. More, We're more trying to get this to lay nicely on a plate that bends. Totally adorable. But we're gonna leave it upside down to dry and then um, once it's dry, we'll give it like an hour or two. We'll come and put another coat of Mod Podge on the back end before we start applying any paint. Okay, so our Mod Podge has dried. Look how cute these are. Now we need to do a coat on the back side. So we put it on the front side. Now we're gonna put it on the back side. And what we're gonna do in this case, I am just gonna go just outside the cutout and make sure that the cutout itself is covered thoroughly and then we're gonna let it dry for another hour or so so this is gonna take a little bit of time um, but it's gonna be so worth it this is where it gets all kinds of crazy all kinds of fun and all kinds of messy if you have a manicure it's toast, but you'll earn one after you do this and you can feel good about it because of all the money you saved. So, okay. So I got this stencil at Michael's for, it was originally $10. I used a 40% off coupon, so it was $6. We can use it for all of our plates. And it's from um, Martha Stewart collection and it's an ECOT. Um, so we're gonna use this to kind of mimic the pattern in the Williams Sonoma version and it works out really great. So, but it's gonna be messy, I'm not gonna lie. So we just lay it down on the plate and where it bends, we're gonna have to push it down kind of like this. So we may start from the top and then like work our way back and then you're gonna have to fill in a couple of holes here and there and I'll show you how that goes. So again, we're gonna use this um, Whispering Turquoise as our kind of um, blue. Hopefully it's not crazy intense, but it will be fun. So we'll start up here and we just get it wet, dab it off a little bit. You don't want it too wet because then it will leak. And we are just gonna try to do this. Dab it. It's gonna be so much fun. And what's nice about this e-cut pattern is it's already kind of naturally messy. And so if it's not perfect, it's okay because it's e-cut. And you, speaking of e-cut, if you haven't seen my tutorial on my e-cut wall, you'll want to check that out because it turned out really cool. So I do have kind of like an e-cut theme going in my decor. You want to to go on a little thick while not being runny only because you're not going to get a second chance to put on a like a second coat you can kind of touch up a, a couple of spots here and there but generally speaking this is your one one shot so we're going to take this up and there's going to be a couple of bare spots so we're going to just randomly take um so we've got like this outer corner thing and uh, some of these and I am just going to randomly place one of these 
the spots to fill in a hole that just looks a little too big and we're just gonna put that on there. By nature of using a stencil, it's gonna get a little bit messy and there might be a couple of spots that you want to go in and clean up. So what you're gonna do is dip a Q-tip in some rubbing alcohol and very carefully just go clean up the couple of areas that you may need to clean up. And then we're gonna let these dry, clean up our messy fingers, and we'll be back to finish it off. Now we need it to pop, so we're gonna just paint white over the entirety of the back part. And I'm just gonna brush this on with some chalky um, paint, craft paint, but you know, you could also take some spray paint and spray that on, and that would work out good as well. But this is what I have, and so that's what I'm gonna work with. We need a brush. <laughs> I'll just use this one. I was going to use a foam brush, but we'll just use this one because I have it available. All right, here we go. So you want to cover the entirety of the back. Make sure you cover the paper. It just adds one more layer of protection on the piece of paper that we mod podged on. And you're probably going to need to do um, two at the minimum, possibly three coats to get that really nice um, bright white. That's it, and then we're gonna let it dry for a couple of hours. We are almost finished. <laughs> I know this is like a lot of passive time, a lot of drying time. The part itself of painting isn't too terribly long, but it's all gonna be worth it in the end. Now we've got our two coats of white on, and now it's time to seal it, because if you want this to be washable, want to even throw it in the dishwasher, I don't know if I'll actually throw mine in the dishwasher, but if you want to throw yours in the dishwasher, then you're gonna definitely want to do this step to help it preserve for a long time. So we're gonna pull out our dishwasher safe Mod Podge again. We're gonna do two good coats of this on the back and let it fully dry. Okay, so it says we need 28 days for this to cure. But if we don't have 28 days, we're gonna try out a little hack on that to see if it will work out, but uh, by using the oven. So I'll meet you back here in a couple seconds, your time, and a couple hours, my time. We are done. Our plates are so cute. What do you think? Is this a good dupe? Let me know over there. But what do you think? Would you love these on your table? I've got a couple of them. Aren't they so cute? Classy, yet fun. And so if you want to see these on my Easter table, there is going to be an Easter tablescape episode coming up in a couple of weeks where I'm gonna be knocking off so many things from Pottery Barn as well as William Sonoma because these are from William Sonoma, the dupe anyways. Well, hopefully you enjoyed yourself today, learned something new, and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on because I post weekly tutorials with all things home related from DIY to interior design to a little bit of cooking, a little bit of crafting, all things home related. And I really appreciate your support. So we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take 100. <laughs> you guys have no idea how hard it is to shoot videos with kids and a husband.